coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Pipistrel Alpha Electro may be manufactured in Australia. Rotax is bringing a special milestone engine to Aero Freebert Schaffen. And a new parachute standard helps recover small planes. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Pipistrel signed an MOU with Air to Their Aviation of Adelaide, Australia for the rights to manufacture the Pipistrel Alpha Electro in Australia. Air to There would be the first Australian company to manufacture an electric aircraft and could build as many as 100 airplanes each year. Powered by a 60 kilowatt electric motor, the Alpha Electro can currently fly for one hour plus a 30 minute reserve, a cruise of 85 knots with a range of 75 nautical miles. According to Air to Their Managing Director, Barry Rogers, the 250 registered flight schools in Australia use more than 3,400 training aircraft. Roughly 25% of flight training covers the beginner phase, which involves circuit training for takeoffs and landings, as well as training in close proximity to an airfield. Electric aircraft are perfectly suited for this task. The company plans to import 15 of the airplanes from Pipistrel for demonstration flights and training as it gears up its own production line. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting news flying out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Wings Over Pearl is set to launch March 15, where guests can fly in a P-51 and see the historic battle sites that brought the U.S. into World War II. The tours are one-on-one -on -one with the pilot and encompass other scenes of wartime activity. The Elite Balloon Instructor Committee has named Kim McGee as an Elite Balloon Instructor. McGee was a co-founder and currently serves as Vice President of the Balloon Training Academy, a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to hot air balloon education and training. Through the Balloon Training Academy, Kim has helped over 150 students pass the FAA knowledge exam for hot air balloons. Taram, Romania's national flag carrier, has received its first ATR-72-600 aircraft. With a brand new livery, this aircraft is the first of a leasing contract with the regional aircraft Lesser NAC for nine ATR-72-600. When this major fleet upgrade is completed by the end of the year, the Romanian carrier will offer an additional 330,000 seats every year, at the same operating cost as its previous seat level. Foreign object debris has been discovered in the fuel tanks of an unspecified number of Boeing 737 MAX airplanes, waiting for delivery to customers. Boeing acknowledged the issue in a note to employees from Mark Jenks, Vice President and General Manager of the 737 program and the Renton, Washington factory. Jenks called the issue absolutely unacceptable. One escape is too many. With your help and focus, we will eliminate FOD from our production system. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Friedrich Schaffen, BRP Rotax will present a special design, limited edition anniversary model of the 912 IS and 915 IS in honor of their 100th anniversary. They're inviting visitors to check out and receive information on the engines at their exhibition area. 
The company will also have a VR studio at its exhibit where its engines can be examined in detail, providing a descriptive view of the possibilities of virtual technology in the future, with an enhancement of technical training as well as a simulation of maintenance procedures. With more than 190,000 engines sold and a global operating four-stroke fleet of more than 50,000 engines, Rotax aircraft engines lead the light sport and ultralight aircraft market. Rotax offers a worldwide network consisting of 17 authorized distributors and more than 220 points of sales and service supporting 270 OEMs, with more than 400 Rotax-powered models and customers worldwide. A new ASTM international standard outlines minimum requirements for designing, manufacturing, and installing emergency parachute systems that help recover a small plane's airframe, potentially helping occupants survive. Whole aircraft parachute recovery systems are an emerging safety device that is gaining use in general aviation. The new standard provides design and certification requirements for any person or company to qualify these systems on general aviation aircraft. Jay Yakel, a member of ASTM International's General Aviation Aircraft Committee stated, certification agencies have had to develop special conditions to certify these systems. Having the new standard will provide companies a way to show compliance with existing rules, so special conditions might not be necessary. This could help speed the certification process, saving time and resources for both the applicant and the certification agencies. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. To stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a wonderful week, and I'll see you Monday.